I'm stoked that people are, uh, you know, they're excited about the Storm Electric bike. There's been some controversy around it, and um, I think there have been some other Indiegogo paint campaigns in the past that have uh, just haven't delivered on their promises and stuff. I really, I really hope that's not the case here. But um, if you get the Storm, and again, I've ordered it, I'll review it when it comes, but I'm not endorsing it. It's my job to review stuff, right? So um, if you choose to order one, or maybe you already have, I just wanted to give you some idea of maybe what to expect given like the most affordable fat bike with the closest specs I could find near a beach on short notice. <laughs> so, Okay, I got the battery here all slung up in the, the luggage wear and it looks like 6.5 pounds. Cool, not bad. 36 volt, 10 amp hour, 6.5 pounds. I imagine that's similar to what we'd see on the Storm uh, in the recent uh, updates to their FAC on Indiegogo, they said 10 pounds. And before that, I thought I'd seen 2.5 kilograms, which is 5.5 pounds, so somewhere in between there, but just good to know, you know, in case you buy an extra battery pack, you need to put that in a backpack. This isn't a canister per se, but it's, you know, mounts sort of in the same same style. And um, Sam's here to help with this. Just grab both sides, lift up, there we go. And it looks like 60, about 61 pounds there. Your thumb went, there we go. Okay, go ahead and put it down, yeah about 61 pounds. This is an aluminum frame. I want to reiterate that I am about 5'9", and I weigh about 135 pounds. So take that into consideration when I'm riding today, and based on the distance I'm able to travel, that kind of stuff. There we go. Now we're at the hard pack sand that you see, like in the storm video, and you know, it's, it's moist, so it's not going to sink in as much. I suppose the closer I get to the water, the more risk I'm, I'm having of uh, getting salt on it and rusting stuff. I'm not gonna get in the water, but now that it's really hard packed, sure, it works fine. We're getting some good speed, 19, 21, 23. I'm gonna take it up and go back up to the soft stuff and see how it does. I'm still twisting it full on, as hard as it can go. And as, the closer we get to the soft sand, this thing is just dying, really dying. Okay, getting ready to go out and do that range test. I've already driven about five kilometers, and that was just going out on the beach right here and making a little loop back. I've got an extra camera set up right here on the bike so you can see, you know, a little bit more fun shots. I've got Strava running in the background uh, right here. Just pull that up. We've already started that, and that's going to give us our distance and our average speed and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. Again, I am facing those headwinds, but on the way back, I'll be getting a tailwind. So hopefully that'll kind of balance things out. And I'm going to use the display with its battery estimator, which has already dropped down a couple of bars just because, you know, we're at, a, we're at full power here. Um, I'm going to use that to determine when I should turn around. And that's why it's important to actually have some sort of indicator. You don't want to get stuck way, way, way away from your car with something heavy like this, especially if it's going to get dark, if you're running out of time. So it's, it's excellent to have a little display. <laughs> totally should have worn my glasses. I'm getting sand in my eyes like crazy. This might be a good hill test. I, I might. Again, I don't want to wreck the range thing, but look at this, this nice little uphill section down there. I'm gonna do that from rest and see how this thing performs. So here we go, here's that hill. You can kind of see, you know, it's definitely a little uphill section. I'm just gonna, just gonna gun it and see how this thing does. And I am, I'm at kind of the, you know, where, right where it starts to pick up. Really struggling. But we're getting there, it's making progress. We're like half a kilometer per hour. I don't think it's gonna make it. It's not not giving up yet. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm helping it. <laughs> okay, so let's look back on that. That's the little hill that we couldn't make up without me pedaling. Not terribly steep, but, uh, you know. Okay, we're at three and a half miles of Strava. 
15 minutes in. So here we go, we're gonna get up to full speed. Okay, and now I'm gonna brake. Pretty good, pretty good stopping power. Didn't squeak a lot. It's got those mechanical disc brakes on here. What are these? These look like, yeah, 160, 160 millimeter Tektro Novella. Pretty solid. <laughs> okay, let's get back on and do this. Cool. Check this out. Surf City bike parking, free and secure. Go to Pedego Electric Bikes, Fifth and Olive. That's cool. Pedego Electric Bikes, they also have a fat bike. Um, that's pretty solid. And I believe their bike is called the Trail Tracker. Okay, we're at about 50 minutes of movement, Strava time. And that's not including the initial uh, beach stuff that I did, you know? around the parking lot and then through up to the beach. We're at 11.8 miles and I'm feeling the battery start to go. I mean, I still show two bars, but it's throbbing. The current is going from one bar up to five. We're really starting to lose power. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do twist throttle, but the speed is down, the current is down. Um, so I'm gonna try to run this all the way out. It's not good to take your battery all the way to zero. Um, electric cars and things balance the battery they keep it from fully discharging and this may have you know it's got that controller down there this may have some battery protection stuff going on too but normally you don't want to push your battery too hard uh, i think it's just it can be kind of hard on it so normally right about now I'd, I'd stop and i'd plug it in and you know charge it back up and i'm going to keep going just to see what our maximum distance is on this and we are going so slow right now 10.10 .10 kilometers is nine kilometers. Current is flashing. I think this is it. I think we're we're pretty much at the end. I mean, I'm I'm fully I'm full throttle right now. And I have taken some breaks, as you'll see on the Strava chart and stuff. I'm not. This isn't just like nonstop, no breaks, pushing the battery, heating the battery up. I mean, it's kind of cold right now with the breeze and stuff. Um, and I mean, yeah, we're, we're effectively out of juice. It's just, it's done. I'm gonna have to pedal it back to the car now. Not, not a ton of fun. So officially, what do you get here? 12 miles, 12.1. And maybe you throw on an extra mile for that beach riding I did at the beginning. So you could say, you know, 13, 15 range. But this is a brand new bike. It's the first time it's ever been ridden. And it says the trip distance has been 23.5 kilometers. And I think that includes the, the beach ride that I did at the beginning. I tried to do that when the battery is most full, the highest voltage to get the most power. And I could even see it kind of spinning a little bit when I did that. So um, yeah, I think that's, it's been a good ride test and really pushed this thing to its limits. I think it's, it's held up really well. I'm impressed with the Sand Vipers. Well, that's it guys. <laughs> I finally made it back to the car quite a lot of work it really makes you appreciate that electric drive when you're I was standing up the whole time I was in the easiest gear uh, probably like a mile and a half two miles from the car but it, it takes it out of you when you're pedaling um, I would like to thank my iPhone 6 plus for not running out of batteries on the Strava bit GoPro 4 is what I've been using for for all of this um, they've been doing great of course SSR and their sand Viper these guys didn't know we were gonna run this test or anything. I basically just asked Myron at uh, Myron's Extreme Machines, the Electric Bicycle Center in Fullerton, California. The electric bikes are awesome. Even if you only get 15 miles, uh, you know, just throttle only mode, that's still, still great. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. I'm gonna review this separately and not mention the storm just to be fair. Uh, so that'll be there along with other fat bikes. Take care and, and ride safe, guys.